there. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, yeah, I'm Reva Taylor. I am a singer, songwriter, and performer, um, and recent dabbler in the world of um, NFTs. <laughs> I've just released the second part of my two-part album, This Woman's Heart Point Two, or abbreviated TWH.2. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a labour of love during this uh, very strange year um, in lockdown. I've been spending it in London and uh, I released This Woman's Heart Point One just before the first lockdown. Um, and uh, it's a kind of conceptual album. So the first part was what I call the darker half of this woman's heart. It's themes are all about heartbreak and loss. And uh, the second part is a uh, far more resolved, brighter um, half of the heart, a brighter outlook. Uh, it's all about, um, yeah, hope um, and future, um, which are things I'm sure a lot of us having been cooped up inside for the last year, um, are looking are looking out towards so uh so yeah i'm just really pleased to have it out there and i uh, hope people like it i've got three that are coming initially but there will be more after that and we've wrapped a little um audio visual experience around three of the tracks of the album um us magic and woman um they all form sort of the same um visual um i do have the same visual identity all very monochrome which is what the campaign for this album has been it's all been black and white um but yeah i'm i'm i always love um, an audio visual experience and this is what's interested me so much about well one of the things that's interested me about the nft um world is that you can package uh, music up in a very different way and and consume music in a different way after speaking with Mintbay, something that really struck a chord with me was um, the fact that this was a far more carbon neutral platform and way of minting your NFTs, uh, which is something that I'm all about. Um, obviously, it's very timely that, that Mintbay and, and Nia are launching this, um, this partnership because Elon Musk has just announced <laughs> something that we all have been aware of, people that have been, been researching the world of amenities, and that, that it is not a very sustainable model currently. And um, what, what Mintbase um, has presented here is something that is totally right, um, and more people need to be aware of the fact that that this, this thing needs to be improved um, if more people are going to be investing their time and energies in NFTs going forward um, to make it more sustainable. So, so that's something that's really, really interesting from, from my side. Also, the split of role um, is something that, from an artist's point of view, view is, is something that needs to be addressed. Um, this is a very transparent way of um, treating people that um, have invested time and energies in your work um, fairly. Um, so it's, you know, creating music, creating art is very often, a, a, is teamwork. Um, and equally, you know, packaging up NFTs as, as an audio visual experience um, is something that possibly involves another collaborator. So, um, you know, I make the music, but perhaps an artist creates the, the piece of artwork. Um, and then both parties need to be treated fairly. So uh, the split royalty model, obviously, which which um, is, is going to be live on near, is something that, that I'm, I'm all for. So, so yeah. Uh, this is obviously a, a, a launch party in the virtual world. So uh, to see people uh, attending, um, obviously not in their, their usual form um, and dancing around to the music and obviously checking out my recent NFT launch uh, with Mint Bass uh, was an amazing experience. Uh, especially a year ago, I was meant to hold a launch party for the first part of the album and we had to, we had to pull the plug because it was the week that the UK went into full lockdown. So uh, I wanted to find an alternative and um, obviously this presented itself uh, through Mint Bass and yeah, I'm so thankful.